Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a brand new video and welcome to the Maldives. So we made it, we are finally here and oh my goodness, it is the most beautiful place I've ever seen in my entire life. Um, so today is day two, we got here yesterday and even though we only had kind of sort of half to three quarters of a day, we managed to do quite a lot. Um, I will insert all of the b-roll footage that I took um, from after we got here. You would have already seen the footage I took of our kind of travels. Travel was grueling, I'm not going to lie. We were so tired by the end of it, but oh my goodness, business class. I, I felt like royalty. It was incredible. Just, I'm so glad Josh managed to do it. What an amazing experience. And... Um, do you know, I don't even know if I've told you about that. Um, so literally um, two days before we travelled, Josh surprised me with the first leg of our journey um, with business class tickets. So just mind blown, it was incredible. I felt like a princess on this trip. Um, and it's beautiful here. Um, yesterday we um, lounged for a little bit and then we went around and kind of booked all the things we want to do. We decided to upgrade to um, all-inclusive premium. Um, it means that we can eat at the a la carte restaurants and um, a few other things like we get some excursions like this evening for example we're going on a sunset dolphin cruise which I'm really excited about and um, yeah so we booked things like that we've booked a spa treatment and um, in the evening we were actually invited to like a cocktail party that they do every Thursday on the beach um, that was really fun and they also handed out prizes and um, they did like a raffle and Josh won, I say Josh, we won, our room won um, a, a scuba diving trip which is insane because we actually went to look at the scuba diving trip. Not for me, that's not really something that I've got the nerve to do but we were looking at the um, scuba diving um, trips, they do like a course um, for Josh, it was something that he was really wanting to do while he was here but he didn't know if he'd get the chance to do it and um, he decided to leave it yesterday because it's not cheap um, I think it's about 250 US dollars for the kind of um, taster the basic one where you have to do all the training and stuff and then it's a further 300 to do the actual one that he really wanted to do which was um, to go to an area and go deep enough to see bigger sharks um, and he decided to leave it because it was quite expensive so he was just going to see how he felt towards the end of the trip and um he won he won it in the raffle last night so uh, the universe is smiling down on us which is really really nice um so yeah that's what we did yesterday evening and then we went for dinner and this morning because we got to sleep like really early last night um this morning we were actually up at half five so we decided to walk to the end of our jetty and um watch the sunrise which was beautiful absolutely stunning um, I will insert some clips over top of me speaking now of what our room looks like. Our room is incredible. We are staying in a grand water villa and it's beautiful. I mean, look at my view. Like, it's absolutely stunning. So we're really happy with the room. I would like to go and find the adults only pool today. They have an infin infinity pool, which is adults only. And, um... I think I might go there today. I'm on my own for a couple of hours today while Josh does his scuba diving, which I'm not mad at at all because Josh likes to be up and about and doing things and it would be nice to take advantage of that little bit of time to just chill and not have to get up and walk around. Um, so yeah, I'm fine with being on my own for a little bit today. Um, we're going to go for breakfast soon. I've not been feeling well since before this trip started. Josh thinks that um, anxiety is kind of setting off my stomach, kind of travel related anxiety, leaving Avery, um, who we've spoken to multiple times a day, by the way, since we've left. She is doing really well. She's having a great time with my mum and sister-in-law. Apparently she's pooped on them a few times. Um, but she seems really happy every time we call them and the boys seem really happy as well. It sounds as though they are getting spoilt uh, while we're away, so... Um, but it was really nice to see my mum as well and catch up with my mum. But yeah, so it's... It's just been incredible so far, but it's only day two. Um, I will keep inserting B-roll. I'm not going to keep talking to the camera, like, all the time. I will kind of just check in here and there, kind of like I'm doing now. Um, and I'll see how much footage I get at the end of it. 
um, I may end up doing it in two parts if there's too much footage because I am just trying to take little snippets wherever I can not just to film a vlog but just because I would really like to have um, all these clips uh, in one place and keep it for memory's sake as well because I'm never going to want to forget this trip um, but yeah so it's been really incredible so far um, so I will cut you to the b-roll that I took yesterday and um, follow on with uh, whatever I capture today and we'll probably check in again um, I don't know when I get the chance It's actually the first day that we decided to kind of get out of bed on our own, like naturally, without, you know, having to rush around thinking about things we needed to do. It's currently just gone eight o'clock in the morning. Um, it's 
sky is a little bit cloudy at the moment it's still very very hot though so far we've been really 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 lucky with the weather we had one tiny little bit of rain but it was already dark at that point and honestly it was still boiling hot even with the rain um so today we don't really have much on the itinerary um yesterday was lovely and again we did quite a lot we got up and went for breakfast we were supposed to go on a um like snorkeling safari oh and by the way the the sunset dolphin cruise that we went on we didn't get to see any dolphins which is a shame um but obviously they're wild animals you can't always guarantee you're gonna see them we did see a beautiful sunset on the boat though so that was really nice but yeah we were supposed to go on the snorkeling safari we decided not to just because we're not the most confident of um snorkelers yet and neither of us like wearing flippers and then the um the guy that runs it he kind of said you'll need to wear flippers to keep up with the group because of the current and stuff and that kind of put us off um so we decided to go and do a bit of snorkeling around the jetty where um where i don't know what i'm trying to say now where where the dive center is there's um like a jetty and right at the end of the jetty um is a really good stop, spot for snorkeling because there's a reef there um so that was really good saw lots of different fish and then we went and kind of made our little home by the infinity pool which is beautiful by the way and the pool i swear when you get in it is so warm it's warmer than the sea not by much i mean the sea is you know quite warm here not bath warm but warmer than what we'd get it in england so we found our spot there and then we went jet skiing for a little bit which is another first for us so that was quite exciting um we also did a little bit of kayaking uh, josh and i got a little bit bored doing that because as soon as we were out in the water we were kind of like well now what because all we're doing is sat in the middle of the water where we're kind of frying and um, we have both um caught the sun quite a lot despite the fact that we have been wearing like a mix of factor 30 factor 50 um we're still burning through it so i think today is factor 50 only and um definitely reapplying often yesterday evening we tried the thai restaurant which wasn't really our thing it was a little bit too spicy for us but that's fine at least we tried it we were supposed to go to the indian restaurant tonight namaste um but we've decided against it because we really actually enjoyed the grill that we went to um two nights ago so we're going to go back to the grill and then after dinner we went um back to the jetty where the dive center is and we saw a huge manta ray and oh my goodness it was the most beautiful thing it was absolutely gorgeous and it was just swimming around doing laps i mean the area we were at was crowded because apparently those manta rays go there every single night which is amazing um, but that was a really really nice sight to see Josh said that he wanted to see a manta ray and we've got a little bit of a bucket list of all the wildlife we'd like to see and so far we've ticked off most of it we've seen sharks we've seen a turtle Josh has seen an octopus um, we've seen stingrays we've seen manta rays we saw squid yesterday um, we've seen dory fish like from Finding Nemo um, lots of different colorful fish really beautiful fish I'm still yet to see a Nemo fish um, and a, cl a clownfish I'm still yet to see one of those um, Josh said he thinks they might be in a little bit deeper and that's, that might be why we've not seen them yet. Um, but we've seen some gorgeous, gorgeous fish, some really nice wildlife, we've seen parrots. Um, the island does keep parrots and um, they have a little set of three, a little small set of three that they, they let kind of loose around the island. And they came and sat um, near where we were at the pool yesterday and Josh actually managed to touch them which was really cute. Um, they did kind of ward him off a little bit so we left them alone in the end but they're really really sweet and um, we've seen lizards um, there is like a heron that likes I don't know if they are herons here I'm not sure like a heron or a stork whatever they're called um, he likes to kind of linger so we've seen him a few times um, just lots of wildlife lots of crabs um, yeah it's just it's really beautiful and just lots of things to see but yeah back to plans for today like i said nothing on much we would like to go and get some um sunset photos this evening if it's not too cloudy because that's something i knew i wanted to do while we were here and then um yeah we have dinner at the grill and then tomorrow i'm really excited tomorrow we actually have our spa booking josh and i are going for a massage and they actually had a promotional deal on 
um, because the treatments are expensive don't get me wrong but they had a deal on which was like over half price of what the you know the the regular menu of the massages were so josh and i have taken them up on that and we're gonna go for a nice um, massage and we can do it as a couple which is really nice and then after that we are actually switching rooms so we are spending the last two nights on the romance island so there's three islands in sun siam olu belly you've got olu belly island which is the main island the one you kind of um, sail into um, and then you have dream island which is the one that i'm on right now and then you have romance island which is actually the island that's um i think run by tui blue and it's adults only and it's just a little bit more luxurious the rooms are nicer so we're spending the last two nights in a um, overwater villa on on the romance island and that one actually has a private pool so aside from exploring the island a little bit i think we're probably going to spend most of our time the last couple of days um on our deck because we'll have absolutely everything that we need and i'm really excited about it it feels strange that our time is already kind of slowly coming to an end we're on our fourth day today i mean still we've still got three three full days so really it's not we're only halfway through but i just know that after today we've only got two days left and um i mean two minds about that i mean who wants to leave paradise but i am very very excited to see the kids again and um, we've been calling them every day um they're all at little harbor this weekend so i know they're having a fab time i mean right now they'll be fast asleep because we are five hours ahead here um but yeah so far been having an incredible trip but like i said i'm not too sure how this vlog is gonna go i know i've got a lot of b-roll so if there's too much i might end up um splitting it into two and maybe just film some intros and outros when i'm home because i just don't know where things are going to start and where things are going to end while we're out here trying not to think too much about it to be honest because that kind of defeats the purpose of relaxing uh, my hair is um very dry <laughs> and i don't think yeah i've not been on camera since i went to the hairdressers so i went to the hairdressers and it reminded me of why i don't like going to hairdressers um i didn't like the way it was done it's not really what i expected or what i asked for and at the end of it my hair was frazzled it was so dry it was the most damage it's been ever and i just wasn't happy with it so that is a shame and i didn't bring conditioner on this trip because i was trying to save space which is a bit of a rookie error and i'm quite mad about it because the shop here is extortionate um i think i mentioned that in my packing video but i've witnessed it for myself now i went in there to see how much a bottle of conditioner would be and it's the sun bomb conditioner so you know it is branded but still 68 dollars for a bottle of conditioner so my hair is just going to stay dry i do have other products leaving conditioner and whatnot but it's just not cutting it it's very very dry but at least i've got that kind of a beach beachy wave look going on i suppose um but anyway we are going to get ready for the day and probably head for breakfast i think our plan then is to go back down to the infinity pool for a little while and then head back here for a little while today so just a nice chilled day and i think after the last couple of days of all the activities that we've been doing um i think it's probably needed so yeah I will probably catch up with you when we are on the Romance Island.
good evening. I am not too sure how well you're going to be able to hear me just because the waves are really strong. Um, we moved to this room um, yesterday and um, we're in one of the villas right at the back of the jetty right at the end so we're pretty near the reef so we're near where the waves break and it is quite choppy out there you'll be able to see the waves just out there in the distance they are quite strong here is our lovely pool which we have spent the day dipping in and out of today which has been really really nice but it is actually our last night tonight um, we leave early hours of the morning our um, little buggy is coming to pick us up at well i'm not sure if you heard the waves then um, our buggy's coming to pick us up at quarter to five in the morning um the last couple of days have been a little bit choppier a little bit windier and honest to god sometimes when the waves crash against the water villa it shakes so that's been uh, fun um, but it's been really really nice um, not too sure if we were given the choice if we could go back now if we would have upgraded to this room I mean it's been lovely um, but the weather took a turn um, the day that we moved into this villa um, yesterday was mostly cloudy and rainy today it picked up a bit which was quite which I was quite happy about because all I wanted to do today was just um, stay on the deck and just lay out and relax and enjoy our last day which is exactly what we did we also um, I've just got back from our dining experience um, we did the dinner on a uh, floating platform which was really really lovely it was basically like a floating deck in the middle of the lagoon and um, we were on it through sunset and then it was pitch black and it was really quiet and really really peaceful so really really lovely so if ever you do um, come to the Maldives or anywhere um, like this and they have that kind of option I definitely suggest it because it was really nice and um, the entire trip has been really really nice it has been an absolute dream I feel so so lucky Josh has spoiled me rotten um, but all good things come to an end and now I am very much looking forward to getting home to my babies we won't see them tomorrow because by the time we get back they will already be in bed but we will see them the next morning which I'm really really excited about but it's been an incredible trip I'm just I'm so grateful I got to experience it I can now take them all these off my bucket list just for reference and information sake in case you are wondering we have stayed at Sun Siam Oluveli and this is in the south Malay Atoll um, so it's only about 45 minutes speedboat from um, the airport in Malay and um, it's been really 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 great here there's been a little bit of everything we've done everything that we really wanted to do we have seen so much cool wildlife and who knows one day we would really 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 love to bring the kids here i'm not even sure if that's possible but we can all dream i mean josh made this dream come to true for me so who knows maybe one day um but yeah it's been really nice here the staff have been incredible we've had a few hiccups along the way but the staff have always been quite quick to kind of fix things for us which has been great food here is really good um the seafood especially which i have been absolutely loving obviously weather has been amazing aside from the one day but you can't control the weather experiences were really really good there's so many different options on things to do and there's also so many things included in certain packages so we were all inclusive we actually upgraded while we were here to premium all inclusive because it gave us access to the a la carte restaurants and um, in the end we only actually tried two a la carte restaurants i believe there are three that were included in the um, premium all inclusive um, one was like a seafood grill one was thai and one was indian uh, we didn't enjoy the Thai so much it was a bit too spicy for us but we did go to the grill twice which was really lovely so all in all Sunset Am Oli Belly 
an amazing place to come definitely if you are considering a trip to the Maldives so um, I hope you enjoyed this little holiday vlog I'm still not sure if I'm keeping everything together or splitting it splitting it into two parts it just depends how much footage I have when I get home but I am closing out my Maldives vlog now time to say bye bye to the Maldives it has been an absolute pleasure and uh, I'll see you guys in another video back on home soil.